milestones are never really recognized right away. It takes uh, oh, 50, 60 years before people realize what an achievement it is. Like, um, take for instance tobacco and uh, the discovery of tobacco. It was discovered by Sir Walter Raleigh, you know, and he sent it over to England from the colonies. And uh, it seems to me the uses of tobacco aren't obvious right off the bat, you know. And I imagine a phone conversation between Sir Walter Raleigh and the head of the West Indies Company in, in England uh, explaining about the shipment of tobacco that he had just sent over. I, I think it would go something like this. Yeah, who, who is it, Mary? Sir Walter Raleigh from the colony. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, put him on, will you? Uh, uh, Harry? Yeah, you want to pick up the extension? It's, uh, it's Nutty Wall again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hi, Walt, baby. How are you, guy? How's, how's everything going? I think things are fine here, Walt. Did, did we get the what? The, uh, the boatload of turkeys. Yeah, they, they arrived fine, Walt. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, they're, they're still here, Walt. Yeah, they're, they're wandering all over London, as a matter of fact. Uh, see, that's uh, that's an American holiday, Walt. Uh, <laughs> What is it this time, Walt? You, you got another winner for us, uh, do you? <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> What's tobacco, Walt? It, it's a kind of leaf. And you bought 80 tons of it. <laughs> uh, let me get this straight now, Walt. You, you bought 80 tons of leaves? Uh, this may come as kind of a surprise to you, Walt, but uh, uh, come fall in England here, we're kind of up to our... Uh... It, it isn't that kind of leap. Uh, what, what is it, a, a special food of some kind, is it, Walt? Not exactly. It has a lot of different uses. Uh, like, what are some of the uses, Walt? Are, are you saying snuff, Walt? What's, what's snuff? You, you take a pinch of tobacco. <laughs> and you shove it up your nose. <laughs> and it makes you sneeze, huh? <laughs> I, I, I imagine it would, Walt, yeah. <laughs> See, uh, uh, Goldenrod seems to do it pretty well over here. <laughs> it, it has some other uses, though. You, you can chew it <laughs> or put it in a pipe. Or you can shred it up and put it on a piece of paper and roll it up. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, Walt. Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> you, you stick it in your ear, right, Walt? <laughs> <laughs> all, all between your lips. Well, uh, <laughs> then, then what do you do to it, Walt? <laughs> you set fire to it, Walt. Uh. <laughs> then, then what do you do, Walt? Uh? You inhale the smoke. Uh, <laughs> You know, well, it seems offhand like you can stand in front of your fireplace and have the same thing going for you, you know? <laughs> See, well, uh, we've been a little worried about you, you know? <laughs> Ever since you put your, your, your cape down over that mud, you know? <laughs> See, well, I, I think you're going to have kind of a tough time uh, uh, selling people on sticking burning leaves in their mouth. <laughs> you, 
It's growing very big over there, is it? What's the matter, Walt? You spilt your what? Your coffee. What's, what's coffee, Walt? That's, that's a drink you make out of beans, huh? <laughs> that, that's going over very big there, too, is it? But a lot of people have the coffee right after their first cigarette in the morning. Huh? Is that what you call a burning leaves, Walt, cigarettes? Uh-huh. I'll tell you what, Walt. Why don't you send us a boatload of those beans, too? If you can talk people into putting those burning leaves in their mouth, they got to go for those beans, Walt. <laughs> Listen, Walt, don't call us, we'll call you. Thank you, Walt. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.